Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Uh oh, oh, we got a little uh, bonus episode today, just to do it, just to do it. Got some friends in town, some homies, some lovers. Jason Rao is here from Breaking doing? Benjamin. Small band. Yeah. Small band. We're getting there. We're Cup. Getting our time. When, when do you think this is all going to happen? Um, man, really hoping to, to start working. I mean, I think fall's opening up. There's some tours that haven't been announced, not one involving us yet, but, uh, you know, we're constantly working on it. There's, there's a lot of issues to be ironed out with insurance and things like that, but. Uh, oh, no, I, I think he meant when you think your band is going to make it. Yeah, dude, oh, I don't give it. a fuck about when you're touring. Nobody's I'm looking at your Facebook. You only have 5.5 million well, that, followers on Facebook, it's which a is slow build. weak, it's homie. A, it's, I mean, how many it's people... It's a marathon, not a sprint. How oh, many damn. people does The Rock have now? Or the Kardashians? Oof. Mm. Good mm. night. Come on, Who man. Knows? Yep. Who knows? Who knows? I don't knows? know. Those are sex take numbers, though. I mean, they Hot, That's that. true. Yeah. Hot Bob, look that up. How many, how many people does the, uh, follow The Rock and The Kardashians... And if then, you, uh, yeah, and then but we'll if you couple go, those next to Jason's numbers. If you go, not on Facebook, asshole, on Instagram. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go Facebook first because yeah, they're big it. on Facebook. We're whipping it out. Are you, do you go black background? Is that you, Bob? Is that you in real life? Black background? Who's dark, is yeah. that? Was oh, that dark mode? Yeah. Dark, who goes dark mode on I go, Facebook? I go dark mode. I go, I go dark mode. Really? I'm a, yeah. I can't do it. Because I don't. Here's Why? Because when I'm lying in bed late at night with my fucking shit turned down low, yeah. mm-hmm. even if it's low, the white blast my eyeballs out can't do it agreed blue eyes oh oh, light, oh light gotcha, colored gotcha, eyes. if you gotcha, have light gotcha. colored eyes you're more photophobic okay so there's the rocks put his up on screen what you does know? he got don't show his bullshit drink Who? i don't need any of that in my life who's this guy he is a wrestler mm. dwayne jimson mm. dwayne johnson is his name how many how many people 58, 58 million. million okay mm. okay now go to breaking benjamin and let's see what they have because this is, uh, we just want to compare, and this, again, we're just comparing, what do they have, 5.5 million? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're 53 million behind the rock. We're coming in hot. Yeah, you're nowhere near it. Um, uh, nowhere near I would it, say Jason. those numbers are close. They both have fives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I think we're pretty close. Uh, you want to introduce uh, your, your, your buddy yeah, Trevor so brought, here? Uh, my buddy Trevor with me. Um, we used to tour together in different bands back in the day, and now he yeah. owns... Uh, a company that I work with a lot with Breaking Ben, and so he came yeah. out here, and we we're going to try some seltzers. And yeah, I, yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, I called up my home, like, You're going with you me. kind yeah. of uh, blew your load on uh, this whole thing because we mm. were going to slow roll the fact that we were trying to goddamn seltzers today. <laughs> Um, that's no. fine, Jason. No, you're, an fine, enter- Jason. you're an entertainer. Yeah. yeah, it's not like you've got any experience in this fucking industry. God, well, damn. this is actually my first time with a lot of things. So it was last night, by the way, and oh. I appreciate that. You're, you're right. It didn't you're hurt. You're welcome. Morning. I don't know what he's it implying. Did, it didn't hurt this morning. But he I said def- it would. But right. it didn't. Oh, well, well, the well, second time never hurts. The first time is when oh. it gets real. Uh, the, look, the first three inches is a street fight. You know. <laughs> and then yeah. After that, <laughs> you kind of enjoy it. it. Yeah. You kind of enjoy it. But also, Absolutely. the first three inches, according to the Bible, are not gay. Yeah, that's yeah. in that's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Really? I think it's what, you're, it's you're, Psalm what nine fourteen. I don't know the mm-hmm. exact uh, nine eleven. Some Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some Yeah, yeah. You're you're a religious man, are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you you should know. <laughs> and I went to um, that's old testament I, right there. I literally went to Bible yeah. college, and I should definitely know. <laughs> you went to Bible college. Oh, yeah. you did, yeah. Really? Yeah. Which one? Uh, Holmes in Greenville, South Carolina. Learned right. scholar. What's yeah. up, Holmes? That's the that's their mascot. You're gonna say you're gonna say Liberty. No, I can't go to Liberty because I don't hate gay people. Yeah, 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 that's a that's a prereq there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like, hey, hey, you queer? Like, no, but why why would you ask me that? (laughs) Is that that school where the president was having like swinger parties or some shit? Maybe, but it was Jerry Falwell school. And look, Christopher Hitchens said it best: if uh, you had given Jerry Falwell an enema before he died, you could have buried him in a fucking matchbox. (laughs) Because he is one hundred percent full of shit. Fuck that guy. And to Uh, be honest. Not to get off on a rant, nah, but anybody ahead, man, that's that anti-gay yeah. secretly loves wieners. Yeah, cock. Yeah. Loves cock. He loves it. Yeah, I know. Like that Phil Robertson like guy that, from yeah. Duck Dynasty, he's just at home right now thinking about, instead of sheep, it's like, it's like fucking, uh, 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 what is it called? Bad, whatever the fuck. Super bad. He's just looking at cocks. Yeah. He's counting cocks at night. Super Phil bad. Robinson. <laughs> Phil, Phil Robinson's at home Nailed right it. now just dreaming of penis. Well, yeah, just nice yeah. throbby. It's his dicks swimming through the fucking English Channel mm-hmm. trying to get to him. He's like, come on, penis. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Craig no, Dulesky. I mean, there's some pretty dicks out there. Craig Dulesky just threw $50, and he says, oh. this is for the two sexy men uh, on D'Anthony's sides here. So it's, it's for you guys. 
You guys look like shit. We went out hey, last I night. I look fine. He <laughs> looks like maybe. I, I, we went out great. last night. Dan yeah. and I are fine. You guys look like I feel you great. Got fucking cake. No, he looks good. Night. I feel great. Oh, uh, I've never been better. Are you sure? All right, because somebody See? ordered an IV <laughs> yeah. to the well, studio. That, uh, yeah, it wasn't that, me. that was me. Um, are, they, are they coming? I said you can, you can put them on air. Yeah, we don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah, I was <laughs> waiting for the text. We'll see. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a little pricey, but you got to do what you got to do. I mean. Oh, yeah, I paid somebody $200 to come drain a pint of my blood out earlier. Yeah. Yo, but think yeah. about how genius that is. It's brilliant. It's a great plan. Absolutely genius. And I'm, look, the alternative is to spend four hours at their place. If they, they came here and it took up. about 20 mm-hmm. minutes to take my blood yep. and my own fucking, the place that we own. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have, I would have been in their place oh, around right. other assholes I wearing a fucking mask. Like in, the, in the hospital field, dude. Yeah. They straight up, like, we were doing that stuff a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were coming in Saturday morning. Little yeah, teledoc. Yeah. We call them the yeah. rock docs. On oh, the road. Man. Hammer yeah. the like button, by the way. Dane Lucero, 50 bucks for the cream pie fun boy. That's, oh. you, are you guys at the cream pie boys? That's a fun thing. I don't pull out. Everyone yeah, knows that. Yeah, the cream pie boys. Nor would I. I think it's against nature to pull out. Hammer the like button. We're Look, this is a bonus episode. We're just getting fucked up on air tonight. We don't really care. You know that- The uh, new seltzers are in. Yeah, they're in. We're going to tell The you, final ones. We're going to taste test them. Yes. Today. With and you guys. I, I said that show. deliberately because taste test can be a problematic word when you've been drinking since noon. Yes. Mm, let's, let's get ahead of it. Yeah. We've, uh, we've been going hard today. We've been going hard all day Dude, long this today. This is my fourth show today. Mine as well, I think. Uh, yeah. Third or fourth? Did you do yeah. RPR earlier? We did audio this morning. Yeah. Early this That's morning. Four today, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're and then well. we had to meet the contractors. I'm my wife. My, 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 oof. Yeah. Wife. Mm. Wife. That's, that's where we are. That's <laughs> why we're not doing my sponsors wife. on this, this is show. Be fun. Why, yeah, like we're not this. doing any sponsors no on this show. No sponsors on this show. <laughs> this this, this show is, is purely a bonus episode because we're getting, <laughs> yeah. we've been getting fucked up all day. The new seltzers came in and Doug and Chris from Tactical Brewery. Uh, down in Orlando, Florida, is who we've partnered up with. Uh, these are the final ones um, before uh, they get canned up this summer and all this shit. Yeah. So we'll drink them live on air. Uh, what are we? What are we starting with here? The, let's start with. I'd say what we'll start with a lemon lime only because I think on the last show you said that needed to be touched up a little bit, and they said this is perfected. Yeah. You know? Okay. We'll see. I mean, um, it's it's, it's for me. It's right? the Sprite Claw, right? It is. Yes. It's yes. Uh, yes. lemon yes. lime is one of the most classic flavor, other than. Uh, caramel, which is our caramel, however you say that word. Uh, caramel. Uh, if, you're, if you're from the South, it's caramel, right? Caramel, caramel yeah. Uh, yeah. It, that's Coke, right? Mm-hmm. Dr. Pepper's got the 23 flavors. That's but then at pretty much every fucking uh, uh, place that exists has a lemon lime version, mm-hmm. right? Sure. This is the one that you have to have, for sure. Sure. Here, just pass all yeah, these I'll empty cups, cups down, down there. It's probably the one that's like at least off. the most important. Craigers is saying, yeah. Ross, if you can call me later, I got I some things about the wedding. I think, I think. On the last show, we were talking about showing him fucked up at the uh, reception. In a bomb suit. In a bomb suit. Well, you. A bomb suit. I'm you, not doing the bomb You performed the wedding in a bomb suit, I think is what he really wanted. Mm. And I'd be down for that. Like, if I can do the. But I have to give the whole yeah. thing. I've got to give the speech. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, lock your knees. Hold I just want to see the no. shocked look on a family's <laughs> face. Don't just, lock your knees. Lock no. your knees. Hold your breath. He's never been in formation <laughs> or stood up. Well, you've, you've done stand up, but you're moving around for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all right. Lemon lime, kids. Drink it up. Soup. Drink it up. 8%. Oh, so they came in at 8%, 150 calories, no carbs, no sugars. Um, these are dummy cans, obviously, because the cans are, are getting built. Out, yeah. yeah. And those are at <laughs> uh, the FDA. For approval for the logos and all that other bullshit nice. as we speak. Huh. Good smell. First impression. Well, I can yeah. tell you. Uh, it doesn't uh, taste like it's 8%, which is a compliment, by the way. It is. Because we've is. tasted all the other 8% uh, seltzers that have come out recently, and yep. it tastes like fucking hairspray. Yeah, it I tastes did a, like dog shit. Wow. Yeah. I, like I consider myself shit. a professional, as we were you discussing are a professional earlier. Drinker, yeah. And mm. I did some research of my own before coming mm-hmm. about the, uh, the, the 8% field as it is mm. right now. This is definitely better. It, yeah. So it, yes. I don't, here's how I would describe it. This is what I'm getting. I don't okay. think it's too seltzery. Right. For me, White Claw is very seltzery. Like, as somebody, a, somebody described it as fruit with TV static behind it. <laughs> 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 yeah. So good. It, but it is. Like, yeah. it's too much. It's like, it, so one of my buddies, he's a tier one operator in the army, and he is the Coke master. He can go in and, like, if, when, if he goes Coca-Cola? into Coca-Cola? Yes. If he goes into a fast food place, he can tell them what's wrong. Like, hey, you've got too much syrup. You've got too much this. You've got oh, too wow. much pressure on their line. Like, he's the master at that stuff. And this is what I like about 
a good beverage. So we drink a lot of these things, right? Dude, this is every this day. Is and it needs to be the right balance Correct. between mm -hmm. sweetness yes. and flavor mm -hmm. and fucking that, soda, right? And the Trulies are overly sweet for me. Right. They're too, way too sweet. Mm -hmm. This and it's is a an, good it's balance. An, it's an unnatural fixing sweetness. Both those what bothers yeah. me about like usually lemon lime or any sort of... It's like artificial tasting. Yeah, yeah. Like you actually taste like <laughs> this is like lemon and lime. It, yeah, mm -hmm. it tastes and like it's, real it's, lemon and lime. It's those guys, it's those guys killed it. Hey, if you're, I don't know if they're watching, but if they are, you guys fucking killed it. Yeah, um, this yeah. is impressive. Also, I don't feel like I would end up on a meme for drinking this. Right. About you know what <laughs> I mean? No. Well, as soon as it, we can't release the name yet because it's at the FDA right now. Yeah, right. yeah. So it's but it's, it's there getting be, approved right now, and it's it's uh it's not a female name at all. It's so. going to be a manly uh, name. I, like I can't wait to see with manly Somebody packaging. Said the other day, yeah. most uh, most seltzers. <clears throat> what was it? It started off with all, like the whole sparkling water thing. It was like, yeah. what's it taste like? It's, it tastes like uh, if someone yelled a flavor down the hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? This isn't that. No, this, this is, is fucking you, great. You, it, you yeah, they get a brace. They all your notes. They did. Okay, Doug and Chris, congratulations. Yeah, Tactical Brewery yeah. in Orlando. You Dude, guys fucking knocked it out of the park. Delicious. Lemon lime is good to go. Cheers. We had already <sighs> cheers. So since you guys are new to the to our little. Uh, shindig here with the with the seltzers we already approved one that the uh the strawberry shortcake is in. it's done yeah, yeah that, that, was one, done. that everybody was, was like yeah we're, we're it's delicious. one of the best tasting alcoholic beverages of any kind i've ever had to be honest i was like holy That's shit great. why has no one not done this i don't yet? know um I, I almost feel bad saying it i felt like after we did the last show white claws magically coming out with a fucking eight yeah. percent i want to say this because we've gotten a lot of messages on it it's only going to be in a 16-ounce can, and it's going to be at, like, fucking gas stations. So, eh, fuck them. I, I, I'm curious to see what their calorie count is because we got this down to 150. If they can beat 150, fuck them. Uh, what do we got up next here? The peach. The peach was always everybody's uh, – that was my favorite. It was half and half in the studio. So it was half the studio's favorites, and uh, this was my number one. Strawberry Shortcake was Dan's number one. Mm. We'll let you guys sample it, and uh, let's just get rocked tonight. It's just yeah. absolutely fucking rocked. That's what I do. Uh, but this peach was my end all be all where I was just like, dude, this is phenomenal. You know, an another thing uh, it would be interesting to see, <clears throat> typically for me, uh, if I'm drinking a seltzer, if mm -hmm. it's too sweet or in the truly case, or if it's too seltzer in the white claw case, I, I need to add something to it. So I usually, right. you know, spike it with some Tito's. Mm. This oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Dan did. Dan's the master. It's called a power claw. Let's be power claw. Power that's power claw. what it is. Power right? claw, yeah. yeah. It's called being yeah. a man. Yeah. 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 Um, be a man. Be a man. That's, that's what it's really been. Throw batteries into the ocean, be a man. If you yeah. see your dog taking a shit, take a shit next to him. Yes. Boston be a man, be a man is a hilarious fucking Instagram. It's account, unbelievable. Yeah. It, it's the delivery and the fact that yeah. they keep the laughing. It's what do we got here? Which flavor is it? Uh, this is peach. This is peach. Hey, did you, Bob, did you have the lemon lime? How fucking good is that shit? It's real clean. It's crazy, right? It almost tastes too good. We were like, oh, man, people are going to get rocked off of this. All right. Not, By the way, I looked. I just got I, 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 I drank it before everybody. Just now. It's freaking it's, delicious. It is. <laughs> the peach is fucking peach, rad, right? Peach I'm just going to really tell good, everybody. Peach was great on the Yo, first episode. Yeah. We were if you're really watching or listening right now, That's I just good. I cheated and I, I went before everybody. <laughs> it's fine. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, peach was one of our, peach and strawberry shortcake, and then we knew we wanted the lemon lime, and then we asked them for a couple more flavors. Right. Because we have to do a four pack, a variety pack of it. Um, and uh, so peach and strawberry shortcake were in. Mm. Uh, lemon lime is now in. Mm. That is fucking lights out. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. So I just looked into it. The so white claw is eight percent is sixteen ounces instead of twelve. Right? Correct. Yes. So, but it's two hundred twenty calories. Oh, it's two twenty for so for that. That's thirteen point seven five calories per ounce, whereas ours is twelve point five calories per ounce. So we're definitely beating. We're, them. Yeah, we're below them. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, I, uh, this tastes better though. Like for real, it's definitely. Jesus Christ. No, I've had the the White Claw Eight. It's not good. I've had the Bud Light. I did the Truly. The, the Bud Light Platinum, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, tastes yeah. like yeah. fucking hairspray, dude. Yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> all they did was add more alcohol. They didn't do anything to to balance the flavor part out. Hmm. It's strange, and I know they're selling a, a ton of them because people want to get trash, right? Yeah, which is great. Which is why we did it. Where yeah. we're like, hey, let's get fucking rocked, um, but also not, you know. Get, mm -hmm. get to be 400 pounds. Oh, God. 400, 500 pounds. And I never got into the, the IPA thing or whatever. It, it, I did, man. I, thing. I like it. How I just you can't. Not, you're right. How are you it's not so 400 heavy. pounds? Yes, yeah. dude. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, also, right. I still feel like a man drinking this. It's great. Yeah, I have my man car. Yeah. Still, <laughs> I feel like a grown man still. 
Usually yeah. when, when y'all met, I, you know, I'm not really Drink. I'm not not too proud Self to be holding X. the white claw at a party. You know what I mean? No, but and I, you, I think that's what they tried to do with that can. You don't have to put it on screen. If, but, you're, um, uh, if you're telling the truth, saying that when we get to see this label, that it's uh, more masculine. Yeah, and I'll I think that's what White Claw is trying to do with this fucking eight here. Yes. Well, they <clears> failed. <throat> yeah. It looks like a Starbucks drink. <laughs> it does. It actually looks like the Starbucks. It logo. looks like a Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like the. Starbucks I don't know why logo. they didn't go neutral colors. If you're trying to do something manly, you always go neutral, right? Why would yeah. you go fucking yep. bright blue? Uh, Doesn't make any really sense agree. with a fucking wave on the front of it. I mean, are they are trying those to the compete? only two flavors they have for the the blue whatever? Yeah. 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 So what are they what are they doing? Oh, blood orange and uh, cranberry. You know who's doing blood orange is uh, Bud Light. That, their, their seltzers are. are I'm, blood I, orange. I would really? I would bet anything that the flavoring is coming and and not just the flavoring but the booze itself is coming from the same factory mm. because there is a. Is. I I don't, I'm not going to talk out of school here, but there's a factory in Wisconsin that does flavored coffee, not for us or our people, but for everybody else. It's Mm -hmm. the same company that does all their shit. Uh, So there's no difference between this this really common (laughs) Seattle-based coffee company and everybody else. They're getting their shit from the same fucking place (laughs) in Wisconsin. Everybody else. (laughs) There are Dr. Pepper bottles that if you get the glass bottles, certain parts of the country, it's in in a Pepsi bottle. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna no, call. Cool. Let's see. Um, we're gonna call. This peach is fire, man. Craig Dulesky, and oh, we'll get him on the phone. Craig, if you want to, if you want to talk about the wedding, let's just talk about it on air, okay? Everything we need May to say well. can be say, said on air. That way, you guys can finish up these samples here, and uh, let's just call Craig live on air. We'll see if he'll answer. Here, turn your Bluetooth off. Oh, you can patch it in through there. Fuck off. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Bluetooth is on. Uh, Bluetooth Roadcaster. Yeah, you're asking Ross to deal with technology right now. Uh, no, I'm awesome with it. Yeah, I'll let you know. I think awesome that's a real it. slippery slope. It's your strong suit, I think you told me. Uh, yeah, Roadcaster's not coming up, dude. My Raycons are. Uh, yeah, I, I don't got nothing uh, for the Roadcaster, dude. on the way here. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Probably not. I never get any of the shit. All right. Oh, did you fuck it up? If you fucked it, ah, oh, there it is, there it is. All right. Wow, technology. the fucking the uh, brown dude, me the, versus Browns got uh, Clowney. The Browns just signed Jadavian Clowney. Now, if they would sign a quarterback, yeah, that would be a great. But team. he's playing opposite Miles Garrett now. Yeah. Yes, that's the team is awesome. All they yeah. need is a fucking quarterback there. It's like the Bears. Stop. All right, just, uh, so we're good. You, you registered? Uh, oh, Alan Robinson the third's good. They're running right. back to Cohen. Good. Right, Craig. He's awesome. Yeah. He's the, the rest of the team. Well, the defense is good, but the offense is. I'm just saying historically here. Is it weird that I'm playing? There it is. The yeah, it's coming through. This is a Jimmy fucking Payne cool first. feature. Look at you guys. God damn it. I feel like we're on CNN. Yeah. Whiskey. <laughs> Craigers. Hello. Craigers. Hello, Rob. Hi. You were live on Drinking Bros, Craig. I can, uh, I can hear you through my headphones, and so can D'Anthony. Let's chat. You, you said, let's chat about the wedding. Let's chat about the wedding. What's going on? So, um, I'm working on getting you a bomb suit. I, have <laughs> I fucking knew it, dude. He works up near, like you, you work, you're in a, you're a government contractor. You got to know somebody up there. Yeah. I know somebody that could like legally appropriate a bomb suit if I need it. <laughs> All right. So let's, since we have Craig on the line, let's get the particulars here. Okay. Cause the seltzer will be out by then. Um, obviously, you know, in, in lieu of payment, we're going to have you just order seltzer for the wedding and all that other shit. It's 8%. It's going to be nice to see your whole family rocked. Uh, we will be with you, obviously, your besties, I'm sure. I will probably be your stepdad before the weekend's over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So new, your new daddy. <laughs> am, I, am I giving a toast or a speech at the, at the dinner? Rock. Well, yeah, if you or Dan want to, like, split the speech up and do whatever, that's fine. At the rehearsal dinner that Friday. Okay. Uh, time that's kind of up in the air right now because that's, I know that's my lane, but technically Amy has final say. <laughs> you know, you're married. You're married, right? So, I, I am married. Um, I am married. Um until Jesse realizes he wants to be with me, but that's later down the road. Mm. Creepy, um, Craig. Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I Creepy. like how you're hoping she die or I die, so that way, yeah. I'm well, not wishing death, Ross. I just wish you're just a vegetable in a wheelchair. A vegetable in a wheelchair? You straight up just treated me like fucking DMX for the last week, you know? 
RIP, obviously, he's, he's dead now, man. but yeah. Uh, I'm not a huge CMS fan, but his music was, was pretty good. It was amazing, yeah. She, uh, we're drinking hard seltzer, probably being a little too honest tonight. Uh, she's walking around here with that beautiful dump truck ass of hers. Uh, I don't know where she's at now, but uh, we're all going out after this. I'm sure, she's going to be amped You're about, about all your of wife, us. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's got a nice dump truck butt. Dump truck sure, ass. Yeah. Um, White girls with fat butts. That's a new phenomenon over the last 15, 20 years. Correct. We've, we've talked about it numerous yeah. times on this show. So, Craig, I understand that you want me to die so you can be with her. Why can't then I give the speech at your wedding? The <laughs> <laughs> to every all the people is what I don't understand. Well, I think the last five well, well, minutes you of you talking speech, explains uh, why. <laughs> you you are going to give a speech. I now, am. Okay. Now now you can go off script because I know that's how you roll. So might as well just go ahead and do it. Yeah, I do. But, I don't I don't need any script, Craig. It's a lot of improv, a lot of off the cuff for me, or uh, off the Timex, if you will, off the gold Timex. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna spend. If I don't see that Timex. If I don't see that Timex at the wedding. I'm going to be pissed. You, you will. It'll make it. Um, the, the one that's how I'm having a hard time with is the flip phone. It's a whole different plug-in system and shit. And, like, I don't have any of those outlets for anything. Yeah, you got to buy them. I, well, I have it on me. Wow, we're getting trashed. I, I'm seeing a few people in the Not as young. So I'm seeing a few people in the chat want it as a live show. I'm trying to warm Amy up for it so that or how you want to split the profits or whatever, but I would just say maybe 45, 55, you know, whatever. So minutes? That, yeah, you want me to give a 45, 55 minute speech? That's fine. I'll, I'll do an hour and 15 if you want I'll at your wedding. I'll talk for half an hour about uh, space time. No, I think it would be Something great. completely unrelated to what's happening I right think it would be great if, if you said, uh, hey guys, um, I'm Dan, you know, from Drinking Bros. Um, I understand everybody's having a beautiful time and it's a beautiful wedding. You guys spend a lot of money. But I want to educate you on the Holocaust for the next 30 to 40 yeah. minutes and uh, and then go over the little shoes. Everything like go over the backstory of, <clears throat> of of that. I know somebody from one of the Holocaust museums near where you're getting married. So yeah. I'll have them come down and, and one of the docents. Yeah, yes. From yes. There. Yeah. I mean, what we'll do is we'll just cut all the clips of me saying <laughs> weird shit and I'll play it out of a boombox over my head like fucking John Cusack. <laughs> right. Uh, and. I won't say a word. And then no. I'll, I'll put the boombox down and walk away at the end. Yeah. So we're, we'll probably do that. And then I'll, I will, more than likely, at your wedding, I'll push the rabbi out of the way. Are you, are you Jewish, Craig? You going Jew on this one? <clears throat> oh, no. We're definitely not Jewish. We're going to have. What do you mean, definitely not? Racist. That sounded That's super racist, racist Craig. Okay. Uh, Ivan Huerta I said not, I should kill myself at the, at the for wedding. All you. I'm for all of you, Anthony. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well. So either way, I'm going to push the priest out of the way and I'm just going to say, hey guys, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it from here. We're going to let Jesus take the wheel. And then I'm going to read chapter four of Anne Frank's diary. I don't think it came in chapters because it was a diary. Well, the book, they had to, they had to do it for the audio book. Mm. Um, obviously, she didn't read it. Yeah, I was going to ask. Is Anne Frank's diary the most famous violation of privacy in the history of humankind? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. They they cut out some shit too, but so I'll probably read a chapter from that to get everybody really in the mood for a wedding and a happy time and all that stuff. And then uh, Mike, uh, who's your best man? Well, funny story. My best man was just calling me in between this, but I mean he can wait. Um, so it's Devin who I went to high school with, but then I mean you're like best man part two. Or part this, sure. just in case you sure. were going to make it. Yep. Because I know you're a busy man. Uh, but as right now, Ohio State does not have game that Saturday. I know. Look, so fucking so, Iowa, yeah. fucking Iowa, and they're fucking bullshit. We're like, nah, we're having our homecoming game that fucking day. I was like, God, fucking damn it. Ah, it's Iowa though. You're not a football school. Who gives a shit? Yeah, yeah, also, Iowa doesn't exist Purdue. in the first the place. Purdue, so hopefully, no cancer kid is <laughs> there. Cancer kid part two. He died, so Craig, he's yeah. the cancer kid is. I not mean, unless gonna, they fucking roll his bones out under the fifty yard line, I don't think he's going to be there. Yeah, he's and you said that, not us, by the way. Yes, Craig, you Just, you definitely said that. Yeah. Um, and you, you also said you hate Jews toward the top of this, yeah, but, um, I heard as well. it. Yeah. yeah, we all I'm heard it. Listen, um, I so I, I will be giving a speech. How many people are going to be at the, uh, the wedding itself? That's right now. It's like 240, but hopefully we have some people that are like hey, COVID and trying to still has a, party. a fake thing. So hopefully I'm hoping at least a good hundred. Awesome. Don't go. 
not, so not, I'm not hoping like 150, 175. It'll be the full 240, dude. People want to party. And now that we're going, um, I'm sure some other drinking bros listeners will be yeah, hitting I you up for to, invites as well. I assumed that we had carte blanche to invite whomever we wanted to. Right? Yeah. Is that yeah. not, is that is that the, not the thing or no? No, no. Just like Jesse said on RPR the other day, um, I'm keeping this location uh, miscellaneous or redacted. Well, no, redacted, okay. sure. All right. I sure. didn't. I didn't sign shit. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm bringing whomever I want. Dan brings real. who he brings. Yeah. Um, there's a porn star that we had on the show named Katie Cush that he was looking to bring. So. Um, you know, she well, might she might uh, be Dan's date for that one. No, I was going to bring another dude actually. Another dude porn star. Uh, that would maybe. be great. Yeah. Uh, who is Diamond Hands? Uh, small Hands. Small Hands. Eric Small Hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring Small Hands. Yeah, so. I might bring him. Well, he's married, so he doesn't fuck recreationally. But really, it's all about maximizing the chances that somebody becomes Craig's stepdad. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. As many dudes There's as I can get numbers. there, yeah. the better. Yeah. It's, well, it's a Dan, numbers game. Brandon, if you're going to be my stepdad, Dan, can Jason be my stepbrother then? Yeah, he can be your stepbrother. You're asking if Jason can be your stepbrother. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can be it. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Brandon Busby is saying take Ray Cash care. We would, but he'll be going live he'll on be, Instagram. Yeah, he'll be doing push ups. He'll yeah, be going live on say, Instagram. Fuck out of here. Blow, I, I, all day. I'm just like, all right, dude. I know what you're doing. Man, Ray, dude, this is an, <laughs> this is an intervention. You got to stop with that. You got to stop going live We're on coming. Instagram. I'm actually going to start calling the police if you don't stop doing this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Derek Bell's asking if the Celts will be in Nebraska. Yes, it'll, it'll be, be everywhere. everywhere. It, it'll be online. More importantly, so you can order whatever the fuck you want. Um, very few liquor companies have the capability to do that. We're going to fucking do that for you. Um, so, Craigers, I'll be giving that speech, right, in front of the 240 afterwards? Yes, and just in case if we don't have, like, a little priest or, or kind of, like, read that shit, like... No, no, no. I mean, I mean the, the, the speech of, like, congratulations, you guys are married, and this is a special moment and all that, right, that stuff. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm, like... You and Jared are both ordained ministers as well. Yes. I'm the only one with formal education. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. Jared has not said anything about coming to the wedding. So uh, to be like, honest. We don't even know where Jared is right now. I don't now. know where he is right yeah. now. He could be on the fucking dark side of the moon right now. He was on the show yesterday, and I don't even know his location where he was no. yesterday. Half the time, Jared will call me. I'm like, dude, where are you? He goes, oh, Russia. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He just bought a 120-acre farm for horses and shit like with full stables too yeah so like that's uh, that's a thing now so he's doing that Naturally. and i know and i know <laughs> this well shit you're up in maryland um i know they're building a uh what did he say yesterday they're building a black rifle coffee with travis pastrana uh mm-hmm. up in maryland somewhere i don't it's know north the lo- of annapolis so yeah i don't know the location but we'll go We'll, we'll be there for all there for of the that. Opening, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, we're going to do a live show Sunday afternoon at WTF here at Austin mm-hmm. um, to do a live watching of the boating event that I, I think it was Evan and Jared for sure. Trav's in there. I think um, maybe Donut Operator or somebody. I don't remember who yes. else is involved. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to do that at WTF this weekend and get fucking wrecked midday because that's what we do. And then I hit up Donut up an Operator. He'll be on, I think, May 3rd. May 3rd, yeah. Monday, May 3rd. Yep. But uh, uh, is there anything else, Craigers, that you needed to tell me? Um, other than that, that's it. Um, until we had to get more details, that's pretty much it. All right, well, all we right love great. You. All right. We, hey, we love you, your loves, and all that. Uh, also, we'll be doing the, the live NFL draft show, Craig. I know you're a big fan of that. Wait, that'll Rob, be going I down. I know what my wedding gift is going to be, though. I know what it is. Your, what, your gift. wedding gift? Your wedding gift is going to yeah. be. Uh, I know what you're giving me, Rob. What, what am I giving it's you? Something, it is something that may or may not be on a hard drive somewhere that happened last April. No. That's never going to happen. Oh, you know, I, here's the thing. I'll, look, we've been drinking a lot today. Um, I, we've recorded four or five shows today somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, it's the end of the day. We're chilling out, we're having some seltzers with our buddies here. Um, that show actually does not exist, and that's real. It, we we because lost of it completely. The, yes. And it, like, I'm not even. It wasn't even, everybody that, asked, it wasn't by the even way. that bad. We just lost the fucking footage. No, there was, was some bad shit. But, it, was, um, it was pretty I, It was me. It was, I, like, I, it was fully me, and I said some shit about uh, some people, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm not going to take any of that back, obviously, because I am who I am, and I'm not going to bow down to any fucking mob. But because of the storms, it kept getting cut in and, and cut out, and then it just was deleted altogether. So, like, we never had a copy of it, to be honest with you. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore, but that was one of the craziest nights of all time. I expect this draft to be crazier because we might have quarterbacks in the first four picks. So we'll see. Yeah, we might. Yeah. I think so. Man, with the Browns oh, getting clowny, they should trade up and get a fucking quarterback. For sure. I, you know, I've actually 
been listening to Undisputed with Shannon Sharp and that other weirdo. I like Skip Bayless. Uh, I mean, look, Skip is, <laughs> he's hard to tolerate. Yes. To yeah. be honest. Yeah. He's yeah. a big fan of, uh, he's a, he's a fan of Texas stuff. sports, but for all of Skip Bayless's annoyances, he's nowhere in the fucking ballpark of Max Kellerman and his constant need to chug dong. Yeah. That dude is like, oh, yeah. he, he chugs more dong than fucking George Floyd took fentanyl. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I've never yeah. seen somebody Ooh. chuck so much dong as this guy. I like oh, that man. that joke was dropped during the middle of the trial, too. Like, well, that's how... That's how we don't care anymore. Yeah, that happens. Who cares? Dance is relevant. Care. Who cares? That's Who cares? Well, called being topical. Dance that server up on current events. Time. That's all. What was the last current part? Event. Well, Dan just ain't server up on current events. That's all. I, hey, we, 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 we give zero fucks on this show, you know that, and it's we're already shadow bound on YouTube. So I'm not the one anyway. On his neck, shit. Jesse, I was just talking about your so, beautiful dump truck ass on air. Yeah. Um, hey, we've got Craigers live on uh, on the phone here. Yeah, and he was yeah. like, he was, he was like, oh, I need you to call me. It's about the wedding, <laughs> and I was like, all right, cool, I'll call you. And he's like, obviously. I whiny as fuck though. Uh, pop, pop in the background so Craig can see you. Are we in a wide here? There you go. Yeah, we've been in a wide pop, several times. Pop, pop on the background here so Craig can see you. He was just like, oh, yeah, he keeps wanting me to die so you can fucking. Yeah. Uh, well, it's part on. of the free go. Jesse campaign that's been going yeah. on ever since people realized They're what kind of a person you were. Uh, saviors. Dan yeah. Yeah. Dan yeah. Yeah. Find Good. different people to rescue me. Ah, there she is. So keep it up, uh, guys. <laughs> hasn't worked yet, but I appreciate the effort. And rescue someday. Me. I love, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Rest in power, Ross Patterson. Rest Jay in power. Fire, right. How are you? He said, J Fire, dude. How are you? That you nicknamed yourself? Sorry. I'm going to knew know, about that. You know how uh, Pink <laughs> makes those fucking uh, joggers with juicy and pink on the ass? Yeah. I'm going to get you a fucking pair of pants with J Fire on the butt. J Fire on the ass would be yeah. great with the, with the oh, emoji. The fire's you know going to be a, right on the butt. It's an emoji. Yeah, 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 yeah it's an emoji. emoji. The fire's right on the butthole. Right yeah. 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 For sure, J Fire. I know a guy that makes it. So, yeah, we have a merch guy where you think I'm making I'm going to make them. No, I know you'll make them. with LaCroix Boy. So I said this to him last night. Thank you, Technically, uh, Lacroix boys is still classified, but I guess we can tell uh, these answers. No, now. I'll tell. I'll, tell I'll, I'll, I'll say goodbye to Craigers. I love you, Craigers. Uh, we're gonna get rocked. Um, and right, uh, cool. and then yeah, some people are saying dump truck confirmed. Somebody just gave twenty dollars from some drug money for Craig's wedding, and it was Scotty Riley, the honorable dirt. Thank bag. you, Scotty. His mm. his profile picture looks like a fucking pit bull wearing a general or a Boston Bruins hat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you're from Boston. Fuck you. Either uh, way. Fuck Tom Brady, too. God damn it. Although I love him. Yeah. He I, really redeemed himself. This I know. Year. Same. I thought you, guys, he's so, cool. you guys are sports fans. Did yeah. you think after you saw Tom Brady finally get loose a little bit outside of that, New that's England, the thing that for video me. Was, didn't I, that make him yeah. like you he's were incredible. like, fuck. Yep. I've yeah. always li not liked him off the field. Any like, I've always hated Tom Brady, and then now he's yep. fucking cool. And I'm like, any oh, reservations shit. you had at that point, like, mm -hmm. is he a cool guy? He keeps getting like, fuck. Well, he's cracking babies in half and sucking the fucking blood out of them. Right? Yeah, I've got a few on order. But yeah. So, so I want to I, I want to I, I want to have a, a gay podcast, uh, two gay dudes on a podcast to talk about Bravo shows mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, on our network and just call it the LaCroix Boys. But it's B-O-I-U-X. I think it's brilliant. Uh, the LaCroix Boys. And then they just drink LaCroix and then talk about Bravo shit all day. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, that's what you and I were chatting about last night because you own a, a huge merch company. Merch are you guys company. in Nashville? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Headquarters are in Nashville. We we. What's the name of it? 85 Supply. 85 Supply. Yeah. You can go to 85supply.com, blah, 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 all that stuff. But yeah, we do merch for Breaking Benjamin, of course. Mm -hmm. Who else do you guys got on that, uh, on that, on that LaCroix. roster? LaCroix. Um, uh, do you really? LaCroix Sparkling Water. La yeah. LaCroix, boys. LaCroix, boys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do LaCroix. We've, we've done work for, you know, CMT. Uh, gosh, a uh, couple, couple NDAs in there that I... Morgan know. Wallen. Ah, uh, no. I'm kidding. No. I'm totally kidding, dude. I, no, but uh, I'm trying to think. A bunch of countries. We got CMT. CMT's a client. Um, country, Are they really? Yeah, country music television. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, and then all the way, that's the cool thing about 85, man, is that we don't, I, ever since starting the company, I was like, we're not going to discriminate. Like, uh, cool, you can say your name. Unless drop. you want a gay wedding, then you're out. Right. Yeah, they, well, you know, no you, no you cake can, for you. you know. I honestly, a gay wedding sounds like the place I want to be. 
Yeah. What's, your, yeah. what's, your, what what's the name of the store? I'm going to look it up right now. Live yeah, on just 85supply.com. We're getting rocked. Yes. Uh, 85, the number eight? Yep, number, number 85. 85. I had to come up with a business name, and supply. I was like, oh, I was born in 85, com. and we supply stuff, so that works. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, was, I was born in 92. Yeah, there you go, right there. Third Man Records. Oh, dude. Jack White. Throw it up. Yeah. Shit. Y'all do fucking Third Man Records. So, dude, I recorded there. Really? Yes. Oh, really? I recorded a Third Man Records in Nashville one day. My right hand man and my best friend since we were kids uh, is a guy named Cody. His his wife is uh, uh, works up at TMR and and, and all. Is that this kind on of screen? Stuff. Put put this yeah, on it's screen. On, it's on there, dude. So I recorded there when when I did um, the uh, the first St. James Street James book. It's under construction right now. I'm uh, that's fine. Say it. Um, but uh, when when <laughs> we did the uh, St. James Street James book, at night she cries while he rides his steed. I did the audio book, obviously, and I, I, had to, I had to fight the fucking publishers. LaCroix is on there. Um, so anyways, when it finally came out, we did these uh, like signings all over the country and then, like these weird giveaways. They have a booth there that you walk in, and it looks like a phone booth. Mm. And it's, a, it's got a microphone, and a it's... A vocal booth kind of thing? Yes, and you record it, but it spits it out yep. on a... A vinyl, right? Yes, mm -hmm. on vinyl. They press it right there. It's, it's pretty awesome. cool. It's awesome. It's the fucking coolest shit ever. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, we, we did the scavenger hunt all over the nation for shit, and I said, look, whoever is in Nashville, here is the... I did a portion of the audiobook on a vinyl record and then just gave it away. And uh, it was one of the dopest places. He's awesome, man. I love that you know that. I, dude, I'm a huge I fucking everybody, fan of Jack White, If you White, go to dude. Nashville, like if you're listening right now and you haven't gone to Nashville, don't trust the, the people. Oh, yeah, go down to Broadway. Dude, no, no. dude. Go to Third Man yes. Records. It yes. is a tour stop and it's, it's awesome. It's, fucking it's an experience. Awesome. It yes. really is. Like, the like whole thing. Jack White is... First off, a genius businessman, yeah. and he's a great he's a smart guy. showman. I mean, the whole bit, like, the dude knows what he's doing. So go check it out, for real. It's yeah. an experience. Yeah, so I, I went, and, like, you know, we, we try to go off the beaten trail for all this shit, right? Like, because to me, yeah, Dan and I did a gig right? in Nashville, mm -hmm. uh, what, six months ago or... Yeah, with, with Rob, yeah. Yeah, with Rob. Yeah, we get, fu we get fucked up. Yeah, it was six months ago. He was there. Yeah. yeah, Jason was there. That's how fucked up you were. You didn't remember Jason was there. No, I remember Jason was there. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, none of us were in masks and shit, so I was trying to remember if it was two years ago. No, it was six months ago. Six months ago. None it was, was in Nashville. None of us were wearing masks. And the people. <laughs> it was like 400 people. Okay, let's, let's, <laughs> let's be real. The people, I love that. The people throwing the event were Rob O'Neill and John Daly. Yep. So, so did you mm, expect okay. to see some masks? Kid Rock. Kid, 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 Kid Rock. Kid Rock yeah. was there. Yeah. Like, yep. Give me a break. Bob. Bob. Uh, so yeah, so Bob was there, but um, I the, the touristy shit is Broadway. The cool bars were on, man, they were on the other side of town. I don't remember the name of them. There was like a, a group of them in a row. Yeah. What's what there's, side? Well, you have the east side. That's it. Um, so there's over there a little five points area. Yes. Yeah. 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 We went there and those were the dopest bars mm -hmm. in town. Like yep. the, the other bullshit downtown was just, it was yeah. more like hard rock. It felt like uh, Planet Hollywood. Yes. It yes. Just like, very, eh. It is staged. I mean, I know that there are original establishments there. No doubt. There right. are. But it has turned to a kind of thing. I mean, you get all these bitches coming out with the, let's get nasty matching t-shirts oh, for bachelor oh, parties. Oh, nasty. Anytime anybody makes Yeesh. a pun on the name of a city, that makes me want to kill myself. Well, we have these things. We call them woo wagons. Uh -huh, woo wagons. They're like uh, these companies that will transform a bus, take the top off. And they have a bar, and they just drive up and down Broadway with a bunch of bitches blaring yeah, music. Yeah. And Here's yeah. the thing. thing. We give them so much shit, but at the same time, bitches, guys, they're genius. Like yeah. Like, I would totally take my forerunner, chop the top off, and dude, charge, a fire? A, charge a, a crew of yeah. bachelorettes. And, and dude, it's like bucks 60 each, you know? bucks a ticket, and those things are booked like three or four months out. They are making they're really yeah. money. And they've they got a monster truck, they got a fire truck, they got one with a hot tub in it. They, Here's I mean, my <laughs> deal. So, Oof. if this is the food chain, right, I'm all the way at the top. We're, well, we're de evolving. <laughs> so, well, a lot of people are, but I'm all the way at the top <laughs> of the food chain. So,. <laughs> My, my first thing is, why would I go to all that trouble when I can just rob that motherfucker right there? Oh, yeah. So let's, let's rob these people. Mm -hmm. What are we waiting for? Or you oh. just go loot. Well, if, if, if Everybody's fact, wearing well, masks, you'll never know. Looting <laughs> is too much work. Even, even that's too much work <laughs> for me. And you don't want to do these wanna, charity hats I don't want to. I don't want to do something that's competing with other people. Yeah. Like okay. other people are out looting. Nobody's, least resistance. Nobody yeah. is trying to rob <clears throat> actual human beings right now. Mm -hmm. that, like of all of their Have you ever stuff. been robbed? Uh, no, come on, man. Oh. You would have to. <laughs> honestly. He goes, no, nah, come on. If I, if I had been robbed, you would not see me here today because I would be deceased. He has a gun on the table. No, no he's not been robbed. It's in my pants. Yeah. All yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either yeah, way. Yeah. Good man. But uh, yeah, it's. it's uh, 
I'm not stupid. If yeah. somebody walks up and puts a gun on my face, I'll give them my shit, but I'm going to memorize that face. Mm -hmm. exactly. I'll never yep. forget it. Yeah. And I'm going to murder you and probably at least two members of your family. And mm -hmm. nothing, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> no, it's because, look. Minimum. You have to make the, the recourse for something unacceptable so bad that it is truly unacceptable, right? Israel, Israel does this pretty well. I'm not a fan of everything they do. But if they get attacked, they attack 4X. Four, four That's their plan. Hmm. Like, if you knock down, if you kill one of my people, we're going to go kill four of yours. They've never lost a war. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've never lost a war because the United States it. government. Thing, like, it's well. because the United States government gave them nuclear weapons. That's why they never lost a war. Let's be real about that. True. That's it. True. It's not because Israel's so fucking tough. Well, no, they're like 12 people over there. Where do you find a nuke? How can I get one of those things? Uh, yeah, you can't. Mm. <laughs> you can't do that. Never never you can't do that. You can't say. do that. Um, all right, we're gonna go with the uh, the last flavor here. This is uh, the blue. This is blue raspberry. So we needed a new one yeah. to go as the fourth flavor I got here. High hopes on this one, dude. I look. I had this. Um, Isn't that I, a song? Uh, high yeah, I got high, I got high yeah, it is. hopes. Who is that? Uh, uh, Panic at the disco. Panic. At, no, it's not no, Panic. No, no, no. I get. It's a. It's a super like chill. Not Coheed. Who I is it? High. I hope so. Yeah, there you uh, go. Hang on. Sling, Patrick, sling that on down. Are you, are you talking about Fall Out Boy? No, yeah, it no. is Fall Out Boy. Is it Fall Out Boy? Is it? I'm pretty sure it's Panic at the Disco. Oh, uh, it is Panic at the Disco. You're right. Yeah. Shit, I thought it was Fall Out yeah, Boy. Yeah. I really did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall, fall keep passing like, that down, you You're saying, you're saying it sorry. wrong. There it's got an exclamation. Go. Panic. Right. There there you no, go. they're not wham. Let's be real about that. Look. No one is. You know what's funny? You were talking about getting robbed. Fucking town. Fun story for the listeners that like this. Your boy, I was actually in a like a real home invasion when I was 20. Which side? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's a fair question. That's a valid question. You didn't yeah. say. Hey, that's so a valid looks question. like you could be robbing a yeah. fucking house. Uh, you got neck uh, tattoos. It was, so. I was yeah. I was taking my girlfriend back to her uh, grandma's house. Where and she you lived. robbed her grandmother. That's rubbed, fucking brutal, dude. Her, that's yeah. a good way to robbed establish shit, dominance. Yeah. Yeah. You and take I, a woman out did. for the first time and you fucking smoke her grandma in front of her. dude. That chick will do whatever you want for the rest <laughs> of the End all be all. It's yeah. like, hey, how'd the day go last night? It was cool. We had a fun I mean, time. He killed had my grandma. Sex, and then he killed yeah. my fucking grandma. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right RIP. But <laughs> RIP, <laughs> obviously. Honestly, it was pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. You got to make a statement. Uh, blue raspberry. So blue this, is the, this is the final flavor. This ended up being my fucking favorite, dude. And any. this is new. You don't have any of this? No. Come I like here. this one. You had to pass it on. Oh, to, oh shit! I I double, this you know what I did? I, I I poured some for myself mm -hmm. and then just drank it. And then, uh, you're good to go. You're good to I'm go. I'm pumped there. about this. Blue this one's probably my blue favorite. Blue raspberry. I, it was my favorite, and it ended up being number one. We were talking about this last night. Blue ras blue yeah blue raspberry. That's real smooth. Uh, the, the, uh, yeah. What are they? The Airheads. Oh, oh yeah. Dude. Well, yeah. the mystery Airheads. Yeah. Yeah. We've yeah. got. We, That's trouble. We might have a mystery flavor coming at some point. Let's be real. Oh, nice. That would be awesome. I I I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. But again. And Tactical Brewery, you guys knocked this out of the fucking park. Yo, um, seriously, this is, if they're listening. Jesus Christ, man. I'm still hung up on that peach, yo. You know peach? The, I'm look, still hung up on it. I'll, so I'll go, my onesie, twosies, like, I have the blue raspberry, maybe because it's new and it's a fun flirty Achoo. thing for me, but. It's, it's, it's sexy. Blue raspberry, peach, uh, <clears throat> strawberry shortcake, lemon, lime. Um, but the lemon lime is so goddamn good, too, that I'm like, eh. I usually don't like lemon lime. Yeah, same, Everybody else does. i to be honest. Everybody yeah. else does, but I, my thing. I'm like the one person who's like, fuck you. What's Fuck funny you. is like I can honestly say that we're like none of this is biased because it's freaking yeah, good. Yeah, well, and here's <laughs> the other thing: we're good. alive, so yeah, right. Shit. I, I, I'll drink seltzers as like a means to an end, like I, because I want to. The end, I, yeah. by the way, is to get hammered. And you can see your rocks. So yeah. I honestly don't think I've ever seen Jason's. I would consider you probably yeah. like my best friend, all right, mm -hmm. or like one of my best friends. I've, I don't think I've ever seen you drink a seltzer intentionally. No. So, and he's the Accidents one of the most happen. picky eaters you will ever That's meet. Right. What kind of what kind of sandwich you like? Meat and cheese. Meat and cheese. That's meat and it. cheese. Jay, you want mayonnaise? Nope. No. No. Meat and, meat and cheese. cheese. I no. like mustard. Mayonnaise no food is loop disgusting. For me. Let's be real. Meat and cheese. Like yeah, that's under, under worse under what circumstances would you want to eat whipped egg whites and oil? It's disgusting. That's fucking I mean, I like nasty. It, nasty. Yeah. yeah. Nasty. It's just me, huh? My my mayonnaise beautiful wife worse. over there who was on earlier with her beautiful dump truck ass, which we saw we were talking about. <laughs> She's got a tie dye fire too. Is Jay Fire over there? Pixies around you, me. There you go. Um, what's your favorite out of these uh, flavors? Probably blue raspberry. Blue raspberry, yeah, blue raspberry. dude. I, this guy's fucking killed it, man. Um, my God. Well, I, I, I snuck a drink. Yeah, yeah, you snuck a drink. I did, man. So it's fine. Go ahead, cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. I've, I've been drinking it the whole time. Yeah, we've been getting uh, fucking wrong. Jesse Ross, do you guys have any tattoos? Who cares? Yes. We can, uh, multiple. Ross has Asian writing tattooed on his ass. Yeah. You, you, you got, no, I mean, like, little. Right it, it is, by the way, 
literally Asian writing tattooed hey, on my ass. Oh, really? Yes. You know, everybody gets a fucking yeah, Asian writing tattoo. Yeah. No, it's the words Asian it's just writing. The words Asian oh my writing. god! And we well, gotta have, have stupid tattoos. tattoos once you get to a certain point. Then you just do whatever. Do you do tattoos on people? Uh, no, to? it's a good time to start. He has used to tattooed myself. That one right there, man. No shit. Yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a man. I got some. Yeah, if you can't, you can't see his leg right now, but it's just the N word, all capital. Yeah, so yeah it's why weird. Do that? It's that's super racist. I'm from Arkansas. We don't, well, that's we don't, true, yeah. <laughs> you and Bill Clinton, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You Jesus go one man. way or the other. You either yeah. rape black women. What tattoos do you have? What's that? I got. I've I've got a bunch. Of, of tattoos. A, a lot of them were in a movie I did. So I, we did it live in a movie. Um, 50 Cane and Call. Do you see, uh, do you see uh, Shia, La, Shia LaBeouf, Buff, whatever, dude? LaBeouf, how he yeah. did his, like, he actually tattooed his. Oh, yeah. Thug Life on his fucking. Yo. Jeez. Did he really? How nuts. Yes. That's dude, quite, yeah, covered yeah. his. Which it's quite the commitment. By the way, it is quite I want to hang out with him, but kind of don't. You know, right. like, it's the same I, thing with Hunter Biden, right? Yeah. Like, to be <laughs> honest, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. You like, 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 if I If I had to choose between Jared Kushner and Hunter Biden, it's Hunter Biden all day. Yes. I yeah. choose Donald J. Jr. Donald no. Jr. Not DJ to party Not to party If you're going to party, like you got to go Hunter, Hunter Biden. Biden. Yeah, if you're playing oh, if golf. If you're looking to party, yeah, party. I'm, thinking, oh, I'm always if you're looking to party. To do, Dude, if you're looking to play golf yeah. and maybe do a couple key bumps, DJ TJ. I want, yeah, probably, yeah. And then if, if but if you're going you hard for like a full Vegas weekend, it's just Hunter Biden. For sure. Yeah. Um, no, but I, I know you're an amateur tattoo artist. I do amateur circumcisions. Um, it's one of my hobbies. Oh. Yeah, are you cirked or unsirked? Can we do it on there? Oh, oh, dude, cirked. For you're cirked? Are you get, cirked? Yeah. I get, Thanks, I get Thanks, re-cirked Dad. every six months or so. Yeah. Are you like unsirked? No, I'm, I'm S- snake eating a hamster? re-cirked. Oh, okay. re-cirked. Okay. So my foreskin grows back. It's a rare condition. Mm. It's like my, my foreskin's it's apparently... It's not that uncommon. It's like 3% of the population yeah, suffers. Yeah, it's, it's made out of the same material, I guess, as a fucking liver because they grow... Like they Sick, regenerate, dude. right? Sure. So I just keep, it's like a fucking fingernail. I have to cut it every now and again. I'm very healthy. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. Deep, Which yeah. is good because I can try out different looks. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I can have a lot of fucking space or a little bit of space. <laughs> yep. Right? Yeah. I mean, and, and I've, I've <laughs> again, I've tied at it a couple of times. Tied at it a couple of times. Yeah. And he'll go by a state. Like he'll go like by the, the shape of a state. So he'll do Ohio. Yeah. You know, that's just, a good one. Iowa? Is that one? No, yeah. Iowa's not a state. Iowa's not a state. We no. don't. We don't. We have, as answer. far yeah. as I'm concerned, we have 49 states. Yeah. Iowa can get fucked. It doesn't mm-hmm. exist. But if it's you're looking Oklahoma, to get, like Delaware. Delaware. Mm-hmm. if you're looking to get researched, either of you guys, we can do that tonight. Um, yeah. oh, I'd love to. I'm always down. I got yeah. my kit with me. It's just, it's just two rocks and then a. Uh, I, I gave a snows cut to somebody earlier. Um, yeah, you did get it cleaned a couple weeks a ago. Snows I think, so uh, a snows fresh. cut is where, where I cut it and then I pack it in snow. Um, but it's uh, it's two pieces of granite, and then I, I do it that way. I bang it together, get the cool. skin off out of there, and, what do you and then do pack with the it in snow. Yeah. What's that? What do you do with the leftovers? I usually make it into a wallet, and if you rub it enough, uh, it'll turn into a briefcase later. Can you muddle later. it? Perhaps put some in the seltzer as like a special Ooh, edition. Ooh that's, that's our, that's our get, mystery. Let's that's get cleared mystery. by the FDA before we yeah. do that. That's the worm in the tequila? Uh, put a little, little, put a little cirque blood in there. Yeah. Yeah. There are some very... Uh, Orthodox Jewish organizations where the man will bite the foreskin off. Mm. The yes. moil, have you heard of Eesh. this? Really? There's been that some transmission statement. of herpes that way, by the way. Really? God. Like, people are like, fucking, can you believe this is happening? I'm like, let me, let me circle back. Yeah. Uh, all right, I figured it all out. Mm-hmm. So you got mad at the herpes part. I was mad at the fucking priest or, or rabbi it. having the child's dick in his mouth in the first place. That seemed where mm. the problem came in. To focus for me, right, right. Not the not the aftermath of that. No, it was definitely it that? was definitely the dick in the mouth yeah. that got you on that first one. Not great. Religion and children. Have you seen this big movie? <laughs> Doesn't work out very frequently. Let's be this real. This movement of the name of science. What it was yeah. like I watched a documentary the other day. It was all about these dudes that were trying to like stand up against circumcision. Oh yeah, the men's and they're going to be the so anti-circumcision like, dude, people. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I, hey, fire away. Fire away. We're going. What we're going out. Don't, don't Chris Stapleton me. By the way, have For, you noticed? To, uh, that's all. Seriously, when, that's when Danny Warsnop sings hey, mm-hmm. his blues stuff, he sounds exactly like Chris Stapleton. They're the same guy. He's have you you've super heard Danny? You've yeah. heard Danny sing "Fire Away," yes, right? Yes, dude, he's great. It sounds exactly <laughs> the same. Great. Exactly like what he just did. Are you friends with Danny in real life? Uh, I've met him a couple of times. I wouldn't say friends, but we, we've played shows together and stuff. Yeah. He's They're great, too. Fri- mm-hmm. Friendsly. Yeah, friend friend of the show. We love Danny. Yeah. He's got a new album out right now. He's, he's yeah, he did an NFT, an NFT, too. Yeah. 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 How, how did it do? I'm not sure. I'm curious I'm about all this shit. I'm follow up on that, too. Yeah. I'm sure it did well because people love his music, yeah. and I'm sure... He just the, cranks out so much material. The, the thing so about NFT... as an NFT? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the thing about NFT wow. is every... if So you buy... He, let's say he put... I don't know what he did exactly, but let's say he put out 10,000 copies of that song or record, right? Right. Anytime anybody sells one of those 
How much? How much do you sell for? I don't know. I have yeah, a, I have we'll a get friend show. who's friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, my, I've been getting into. We were talking about. Like, I've been getting into crypto like crazy, mm -hmm. uh, cryptocurrency. Well, the guy that's been helping me. Well, his Bitcoin mentor, went up to sixty five thousand. Correct. By the way. It really, sure did yeah. today. <laughs> Um, yeah. his, his mentor, dude, I'm not, I kid you not. He just got into NFTs. He sold He sold one F NFT the other day for, it was 3.2 million bucks. Mm -hmm. My God, dude. Yeah. You know, and it's that's, a, that's it's a, a digital card. Like it's, something it's like a, that. Yeah, yeah. It's 3.2 million for right now. And mm -hmm. then every time that gets yeah. sold. LeBron James, it was like forever. 6 million for you get, his card. You get, you get money. For his dunk. Yeah. Man. So it's like the new, so now it's that. Such a bizarre. Now, concept. now as a fucking, in the creator economy, as we like to call it, as James Altucher likes to call it, uh, we don't have to worry about fucking the the unions out in hollywood anymore mm -mm. right or the other record companies to get our fucking residuals now we can do it ourselves with blockchain technology mm -hmm. yeah dude right? yeah that peer-to-peer -peer thing is, is it's, a game changer. so i just invested. because you needed a conduit prior yeah the distribution i mean that's what the record industry is about i mean yeah. you got your promotion but then you got your distribution so yeah. most bands now like uh we're kind of at that precipice where you get out of your your label yeah. that or your deal that you've had for 15 20 years You've fulfilled all your obligations. Mm -hmm. So now do you resign or do you kind of start your own thing? What would be and the fucking purpose of resigning at this point, to be honest? Nothing. They have nothing to offer you. No. no. Well, you no. guys figured it out way early. One thing I can say about Breaking Ben is, you know, I toured for, for, for 10 mm -hmm. years myself. And, you know, you find yourself chasing the pipe dream of like, oh, I'm going to sign with this label. I'm going to meet that guy, do this thing. Nah, Breaking Benjamin. No, you guys figured it out. They've been it's self, the same thing with for long. Yeah. It's the same thing with athletes, though. Do you do you want to be fucking famous mm -hmm. or do you want to be fucking rich? Well, that's you the thing. Most guys now, LeBron band. James figured both out. Michael Jordan figured both out. Steph Curry, exactly Jordan, right. a couple of other people have figured both out. But for the most part, you're either famous or rich. Now, we see people like Ashton Kutcher, for example. Brilliant. Great actor. Not really. Right. Eh. Funny guy, though. But he, but he was so he fucking smart. He doesn't have to act. At, to be honest, after he does the ranch to uh, stay relative. Yeah, after four years in the in the industry in Hollywood, he was set for life, and he was like, you know what? How do I fucking make sure that four generations from now, Kutcher's just set for life? And that's what he did. And Nas, hey, Nas did that today with uh, Coinbase. Yeah, he Nas invested did super it. early. So did fucking Kevin Durant, Ray, uh, uh, Ray J's done Ray J, it. Dude, Ray J's, Ray J's breaking. Own Bird and fucking Raycon. Ray J's one of our sponsors. Yeah. Ray Ray guys, Raycon's one of our sponsors. I mean, these people are fucking. It, this is not rocket surgery, man. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not fucking that difficult. You fucking put your money into shit, even at low yield that makes you money over time yeah. and invest in new tech. Dude, I personally took everything I had in my retirement, yeah, traditional, put it Why all, not? I put it all in crypto. <laughs> I'm Why not going to so fuck it. Why not? I mean, Dude, it's, and my percent that I've, that I've gained. Oh no, yeah. It's more, you, more than the last yeah, five years. You bought in it. You, what did you buy in a Bitcoin at? Um, I, you ready for this? Yeah. 4,000? Four grand. Four grand. Four grand. That's a lot of that's that's Across one of the sixty five thousand. That's generation. That's one of the most yeah. common purchases at four. And I bought, I, bought, I bought two of them. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing seeing the numbers when the stimulus check came out. Exactly four hundred dollars. Every time, Christ. every time that dude, every time Biden prints money, Bitcoin goes like this. Yeah, yeah. 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 People are getting rocked here. Is uh, is somebody else recording here tonight, Dan? What do we got? Who's was, was that? Oh no, shit, dude. Fuck. If they want to come on and say hello, we don't give a shit. Who? Um, uh, that's dope, dude. What's uh, what time are they shooting out tonight in here? Patched it up. Yeah. All right. Wait, who's coming in? Danny Brown's in here. Um, hmm. He's funny as shit, dude. Um, fucking a, dude. Uh, I, you never know who's gonna be in this motherfucker. Bill Burr was up in here the other day. Yeah. Uh, we've had a bunch of people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, that's the that's the wild thing about Austin, where you're just like, all right, cool, man. There's just a bunch of dope ass people. Does he live in, out here now? In here. Who? Bill Burr. No, no. Not yet. Not yet. I meant to ask Everybody's you, moving here. I meant to ask you this last night. Yeah. If you had to pick one, your favorite person you've had on the show. Of all time? Yeah. Uh, who is it and why me? Both of you guys, actually. Uh, <laughs> it is probably, it, it's usually people you don't expect. To be and it could be a you. couple of people. It yeah. doesn't have to be one. But, you know. But so like you? when Matthew McConaughey came on a couple months ago, it was dope for a different reason of like, he is who you hope he is. Really? And yeah, yeah, and I knew him back in the day. We had two managers that used to work with him said the same thing. This, I, dude, I knew him back ago. in the day, and like if you read the book or the the you know green lights and all the other shit, like yeah, listen to the audio book. It's real, and you want to party with him in real life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, celebrity wise, that's probably the dude that if if you could model yourself after or, yep. or yeah. hang out with it's all the awesome. time, and that's what makes them who they are, right? Yeah. That's what gives them their fucking on screen persona and everything else is that they're fucking rad people in real life, mm -hmm. and then that translates over. Mm -hmm. But that's not the norm. 
Typically, 99% of the people I've worked no, with I in agree, Hollywood no. are fucking shitbags, and it's like... <laughs> Justin Timberlake is like that as well. Just such a cool freaking mm. dude. Everybody loves working for him. Always taking care of people. I mean, you saw... Good yeah. attitudes. You saw JT's shit when, uh, <clears throat> when they had him on Punked, actually. Mm-hmm. You just saw, like... Yeah. I mean, uh, as fucked up as it was, what they were doing, it was like house getting repossessed <laughs> or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. You saw who he was as a human being. It was like, oh, he's actually just a kid. Yeah. Like, he's just a normal kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it makes him so likable. Yeah. A lot of people are fucking assholes. Like, a, a lot of people get... And you know this as well as anybody. A lot of people get a little bit of fame or maybe a lot, and it changes... Who they are as a human being. I always mm-hmm. think it's like, like you know, with steroids. They say some people take it. Like, is it going to turn you into this raging or whatever? Well, if you're an asshole, yeah, it's going to make you more of an asshole. Mm-hmm. And I think any sort of, like you're saying, fame mm-hmm. or anything like that is just going to amplify who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it's different, and it changes from week to week. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson was awesome because he was just a cool fucking dude. Right. And as soon as he dropped the word motherfucker on the show. I was mm-hmm. like, all right, we're homies, and this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but then you have somebody completely unexpected, like James Altucher. Mm. That was one of the greatest interviews of all I, time. I, 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 think I, that's the, I think that's the best show we've ever done, to be honest. It's, it's one of them, but like going into that show, it was like, all right, well, how, how is this going to be? I don't know. I don't, you, know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. you never know, and then when you get to do it, you do it. Athlete-wise, um, Fred Smoot oh, and yeah, great. Uh, Freddie Mitchell, Freddie Mitchell too, yeah. um, mm-hmm. are probably my top. But you know, they aren't the most famous. But goddamn, if we had a blast on the fucking show. I also That's love awesome. uh, Ben Verlander and Alex Monaco, young yes. guys. Yes. Oh, dude. That are coming up. Alex, I, ben, Ben's so smart on baseball, and Alex is a fucking gambling piece of shit. He's a real piece of shit. Let's be real. Alex Monaco, I hit up after the show. And yeah. was just like, I, I just want to be homies with you in real yeah. life. Like, he's fucking cool as yeah, shit. Yeah, he's great. So it, it varies from day to day and week to week, and we have so many guests and all that other stuff, but that's the beauty of it. Well, who's so every your, day we wake up, we don't know who's going to be here. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. Who, who's, you, you've been touring for quite a while now mm-hmm. so have you actually you toured for quite a while who are the, who is your favorite fucking personalities or bands to play with oh, man. i mean we have our i love the corn guys yeah um, well you're doing love and death with yeah fucking I mean, that's now, why yeah. i mean yeah. we just all get along really well and me and head were talking this morning Ed, Ed and i used to have a, a like we split a little house uh was transitioning and i he and I lived together, which we should have had a reality T- show. Tell, yeah. tell people who Head is, by Head the way. Head is, I apologize. He's the guitar player for Corn. There you Brian go. Brian Head Welch. There you go. We don't know him the same way as you, you do. get him on the show? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. like me so, saying, yeah, I played handball with Bobby, and it's like De Niro. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> fucking Bobby. do that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah I mean, Bobby were playing handball. Bob. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I apologize for that. Uh, no, the fine. context is everything. So, yeah, <laughs> we were just, we, we lived together, mm-hmm. and uh, we called it the Trap House. It was just kind of a little condo we had for a while. We, uh, we're there for maybe nine months, something mm. like that. Probably saw each other twice, you know, because we're always kind of yeah, going yeah. back and forth. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, so those guys, uh, I think, um, dude, back in the day, like Pop Roach and Seether and those guys, are, are rad dudes to hang out with. Yeah. Um, Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi B. Oh, yeah. How was Cardi B? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Did you work with Cardi B or was or were you guys in separate rooms and all this shit? Separate, yeah. yeah. Well, she was, she was dancing and he was paying her, right? Mm-hmm. They're yeah. dating. Oh, you guys yeah. are dating? I'm actually, yeah. Yeah, her, her they guy. might now, yeah. 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 Um, I, how how I was she to work test. with? Good. Good? Yeah. Ah, all right. Mm-hmm. You never know when you're just like, all right, sweet, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it goes back and forth. And at the end of the day, I, I do think most people... They get to a certain point, where, especially if they're doing consistently successful content, that they're somewhat professional. There are mm-hmm. some assholes, right? Totally. But they're, they're there to do a job. They're, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's their career. So I enjoy that side of it. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Justin Timberlake, like I was saying. Yeah. yeah. Rad as hell. Kid Rock, rad as hell. Yeah. Um, and in Nashville, we've got the, there's a lot of new country guys. Um, dude, Morgan Wallen, Ernest. Mm-hmm. Morgan Wallen's a cool freaking dude, man. I mean, yeah. Probably don't yell the N word out into your neighborhood. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Mm. Seems like a good plan. Also, to not screw do that. that neighbor. I'm just going to throw that out. Yeah. Um, I, that, yeah that, that one, that neighbor. That's a tough one for me. Yeah, that whole, yeah. whole fucking shit is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I will say, he, he's one of those guys. Like he, I think he's, he's grown from it. You know, he, he's so young and shot up so quick. Yeah. That dude, he, he blows past, like, just kind of getting intoxicated, and he's the guy, mm-hmm. like, they're carrying, you know. So yeah. shit's going to happen for sure. Right. Yeah. Um, he's young, man. Luke he's, Combs, yeah. great dude. Luke Combs. Yeah, yeah we dude. love Luke. He's, yep. uh, I, tr- I tried to get a, a Black Rifle roast done with him oh, no uh, way. back in the day, but it was just too many moving pieces all the time. Oh, yeah. he, and it was right at the, right when he was on his way up. And you look, he's. have him on the show. There's, there's, yeah, we will, yeah, we'll have him on eventually. But he's, no, 
I don't know of any musician in that space that can fucking say, I'm going to go record a music video and it's probably going to get 10 to 30 million views. For yeah. sure, like, a, like go look Crazy. at my catalog. Like and the, he, yeah. the coffee, if you name the coffee lukewarm, and that would have been, uh, you know. <laughs> That's dope. Obviously, too on the <laughs> nose, killed it. but I will whatever. say, Jason, do you remember the, uh, in Phoenix, we played, uh, Jason's band was way bigger at the time. It was, a, it was not Breaking Band, it was before that. He was always in the cooler band than me. And uh, we played that Phoenix Festival, yep. right, Rage Fest. Mm -hmm. You remember, we, we played with Alice Cooper. Alice mm. Cooper, yeah. Yeah, oh, I shit. will say, dude, Alice Cooper's awesome. Oh, oh really? He was great. Uh, Alice okay. Cooper's he was, cool. uh, he was super cool. Pretty smart, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, a, he's one he's of a those member two. of Mensa, mm -hmm. if you know yeah. what that is. I don't, he's I don't brilliant. Like that means he's taken an IQ test, and it's, he's been verified as a literal genius. Yeah, so, yeah. Tom, so did Tom Herman. Yeah, Tom Herman. <laughs> dude, Alice like, was nothing but nice. If he, he would have stayed at Ohio State, we would have won three championships. Just because you're smart doesn't mean you're a good football coach. Exactly, exactly. Right. Can you imagine Einstein coaching football? No, no, dude. He's just yelling in German the whole no. time. Like, dude, Look, cut your fucking mustache. And Tom Herman's no Einstein. Let's, let's face it. Uh, let's face it. Uh, let's go get, let's grab, grab some dinner here. I'm, yeah. ro I'm, I'm showing it rocked. This is what I love about these seltzers. This is, you, hey, Doug, Chris, in uh, Tactical Brewery, you killed this. I can't wait for this shit to come out. Um, Very nicely done. Bravo. My yeah, God, dude. Shit. This is it. Yeah. I think that I've, we've locked in our final four here. Um, and we're amped about it. Uh, if you're in Orlando, go down to Tactical Brewery. I don't know if they'll, they'll probably have it in here once we start it up, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, man, shit. Uh, that's yeah, it. I think I want to go down there. I want to meet him. Shake yeah. his hand. Yeah. 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 Kiss uh, him on the lips. Yeah, Look out deeply him. into his eyes and ask him what his dreams for that's the right. future are. Right. Yeah. Definitely you know going to do mean? more than that. But that's and then make those dreams happen. Covered by the NDA. Because he deserves so. it. Fuck yeah, it is. Oh, cool. He deserves Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. Jason Rao. How are we doing? Uh, that's a. Terrible spelling on Jason. It you know that. You know that though. Yeah. R e n c h. Where is it? No, it's e n. It's, it's, it's e n. Yeah, e -N. it's a whole thing. It's been a curse. It's been a curse. I, you know, should change my name to something. Yeah. But. Yeah. Uh, whatever bar we go into is not going to be happy with our condition here in about 10 minutes. They'll be uh, fine. And then what? <laughs> hey, say the name of your company again, Trevor. 85 Supply. 85 yeah. Supply. I can't believe you do third man records. That's big time, yeah, dude. dude. You're I, fucking big I'll, time. I'll, uh, after the, when I get back to Nashville, I'll send you some free stuff. I would love that more than life. I'm like, a seriously. gigantic Jack White yeah. fan, so Boom. that's awesome. Uh, this is just a bonus show. We're the drinking bros. So we got yeah. fucked up tonight. Uh, well, I think we'll just drop this tonight. We love you. Good night, everyone. See you in hell. See you. It's a lifesaver, right? Yeah, it really is. Just a little bit of meth. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. The Nazis. Did you turn it off? Did you turn off the... You, oh, you don't know how? Are we still on air? That, yeah. It'd be hilarious if we are this drunk.